Good morning, guys. We're uh, <coughs> at a secret location today. And as you can see by my new hairdo and my new hat, if I, if I show you across the water there, somewhere across there, where is he? I think, no, where is he? I've lost him. Oh, he's over that way somewhere. We've got Mr. Paul Goody all the way down from Glasgow. So I've had to come representing today. We've also got Marie Peaky down there. We've got Glenn there. We've got the crane. And we've got Sir Nigel. <laughs> now, I'm only just doing the intro because we're just doing a test on this location. But if I turn my camera around, I can show you what I've found. Bear with me. So. Where's the other one? I'm sorry guys, but somebody's nicked me rifle. <laughs> I've just put my rifles, I've just pulled two guns out in this bag and I've gone to the car to get my phone and one of my rifles has vanished. <laughs> Come on, own up, who's got it? Who would it be? Come on, who would it be if something like that went missing? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it, Peaky? It's over there on the brow. Up to, up to weeds. Oh, I've got it. Easy to look. Here it is. Let me get it out. Right, let's put it down here. It's so professional. So there we go. Got two rifles there. That one's a bit unusual. Yeah. There we go. It has had the barrel chopped off it with a hacksaw. Zoom in there, you can see the cut mark. So, we've got potential. Right, guys, so I've got three guns now. Check that one out. <laughs> Gun's a gun. Found it in the grass. And this one was just having a look. I think this one might be part of an air rifle. So it's a buffalo bill, it's got the name on it. So this one's gonna take a bit of research, but I think that one might be an air rifle. But we'll see. Right guys, due to the weather and where we are. I'm not uh, having my uh, phone set up on the tripod today because the winds are too high and it keeps belting it down with rain. So you're going to have to bear with me on these videos, but I'll show you some of the bits I've had. I've had this sign out. I'm not going to show the top because I don't want to give away the location of where we are. Unfortunately, when we did Mermaid Pool, everyone hit it afterwards and started leaving scrap everywhere and we don't want that happening here. So I found part of a sign there, well, a full sign. And I've had a 1300cc badge off a Ford Escort from the 1970s, I'd say, 70s, early 80s. I've had uh, lots of various bits of scrap here. Uh, this here is actually a tire lever, a great big lorry tire lever. So just some unusual bits of scrap metal there. Uh, this looks like an anchor, but it isn't. I'm not sure what this is. And then over this way, I've had the remains of an ice pick or welder's hammer. I, th I think it's more of a welder's hammer to be truthful. There we go. So another murder weapon. <laughs> Like I say, we don't really want to give away this location. It's not through us being mean or anything like that. We've got the other guys over there. But uh, we're wanting to protect some of these locations that we're hitting now because other people, like I say, have been coming and hitting them and leaving scrap metal everywhere. All our scrap metal will be removed today. So uh, we'll carry on and get back to you shortly. All right, we're back to you again, guys. I have to say, the weather's still atrocious, as you can see up in the sky. It's stopped raining over this side at the moment. 
I've just had this tree out. <laughs> that took a bit of shifting. I've had some steel cable, a bit of chrome trim off something. I've just had that out. Not sure what that is, whether it's off cast iron uh, pipe work or what. And I've had a pickaxe and a set of keys. So we're still at it. There's been a good find just down there, the other side of that tree you've got Glenn and Paul. They've had a good, well Paul's had a really good find out. And then Nigel's just joined me over this side. So we'll have a rest and then get back to you shortly. So guys, we're here with Mr. Paul Goody from Hello. Glasgow and look what he's fetched for Marie. <laughs> Look at the smile now. <laughs> Can you see the smile for the cake? <laughs> That's brilliant. Happy Halloween. <laughs> right, guys. We're just on our way to another location and we've stopped off at Mermaid Pool. As you can see, I'm absolutely disgusted. Yeah, since we. Uh, stripped all this area i know a few groups that's been coming back here and i'm i'm going to show it they've left scrap laying about all over the place look bt cash boxes litter more litter any more scrap down that way let's have a look absolutely disgusting yeah, another bit of scrap there just laying in the muck. But worse still, I'll take you around and show you. Old sand chucked on the floor there. Come around this way. Another one there. Another piece of scrap over there more scrap in the grass here old tyre there more scrap and this is different to the stuff that was here last time look at it absolutely disgusting let me have a walk around the pool more bits laying about what's this More litter, more scrap there. This is just wrong, absolutely disgusting. And people say, why don't we give our locations away? Well, this is it, this is the reason why. Because we give our locations away and everybody comes and strips it and just leaves the crap everywhere. More scaffolding. Come over here. More scaffolding. Just left. What's that? Let's have a wander around here, see if there's any more. Guys, if you're going to hit anywhere, clean up after yourself. It's all the way around this flipping pond. This is a tourist area. So anybody who's been fishing Mermaid Pool in the last couple of weeks, I know who you are. And this is disgusting. This is unacceptable. In a
Right guys, we're, we're calling, calling it a day. We're frozen, this pond is empty, nothing's coming out, we've had enough. We've well, Northanks did all right. So did I, not, <laughs> not as good as me, but yeah. <laughs> and that one's got the find of the day, but I'm saying nothing. <laughs> we've shifted everybody's... We found us. Hey? We found us, the find of the day. Well, yeah, that's true. We've shifted everybody's scrap, look, it's all neatly in a pile now. Anybody out there coming back here, shift your scrap. So from me, Rusty Nuts, and from all this lot, Adios. bye for now.